Hi guys, so doing a review on these breeches today by Cavallo, Kaja, Kaja, I don't really know how you say it, um, the winter soft shell breeches, um, as you can see there, I didn't actually know these were winter breeches when I bought them, so I had a really very pleasant surprise when I found them fleece lines this morning when I put them on, um, because I obviously didn't read all the label when I purchased them in the sale, but very, very happy to uh, find that out. So without trying to make an absolute fool of myself doing this, this is the Kaja Winter Breeches. I have worn them this morning, so they're a little bit dusty. Uh, you can see here, they've got this really nice grippy material running down the whole of the leg and on the bottom. Um, also these really good, hang on, let me spin around and go forward a bit. <laughs> this lovely silky sort of soft patch here so you don't get any lumps and bumps under your boot. Little pockets for your phone. Good pockets, if I go for, good pockets at the front. It is like a soft shell material, so you do get a little bit dusty, um, but it feels to me like you would have it, it would be a little bit shower proof. Um, I'll have to show you the inside later. This is inside the breech, as you can see here, it's a lovely fleece, so they are super warm and comfortable. Hi, I thought I'd come on and finish this review video up. I'm really sorry if there is a bit of a breeze in the background. We're very open round here, as you can see. Um, so there may be a bit of background wind noise, I'm hoping it's not too bad. Anyway, I wanted to come on and finish this review video of the Cavallo, I'm going to call them Kaja, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, grip breeches um, that retail around 150 to 175 miles. Oh yeah, and if I keep looking off into the direction, so I'm looking at where I'm riding to. Um, anyway, I love them. I really love them. I would say I'm definitely been converted from a procure girl to Cavallo girl. I just think these breeches feel like really good quality and I think better quality than how the recent procure breeches have felt. I don't think the procure have been as good as they used to be. Whereas I think these feel lovely. Some of the things that I love about them is the knee area. So they have that stretchy kind of grip fabric over the knee. It makes so much sense. Why wouldn't you have that kind of stretchy material over an area that you bend and use so much so that to me makes so much sense and it's just nice not to have any restrictions over your knee area the feel of the material it feels really good quality they are a nice thickness they're not too thin i love the fleece lining in them and what's nice is when you get up in the morning and like your room's cold because let's be honest no one's turning any heating on for a long time um there's nothing worse than putting cold breeches on in the morning but because these have got this fleece lining makes all the difference in the morning. Um, I very much appreciated that this morning. Um, I love the little details, like the kind of glittery thread of the Cavallo up the side of the leg. Also on the phone pocket on the side, there's like a glittery edge to it, which I just think is nice. It's those little details that make them feel special. Um, the phone pocket, big winner for me. Now I know other breeches have already done this, but I haven't owned a pair. They have a phone pocket that actually fits my iPhone and iPhone with its whopping great big case on it massive plus point for me because I've always had to try and half wedge it in the pockets by kind of my hip area and it always digs in and they never stay put this one fits my whole phone in properly I couldn't be happier um so chuffed about that uh all the even like the zips the buckle everything on them just feels nice quality like it doesn't feel like it's going to break in a week's time which is really good um other things I love about them I think that's it really just the overall feeling of the material the thickness everything feels like good quality down by kind of your leg area it's obviously nice and sleek there so when you put your boot on you're not going to have any lumps or bumps the other thing is that I am a bit straight up and down I don't really have any hips and so for me generally breeches tend to fall down quite a lot and I have to say these so far haven't and that's quite a big thing for me because most of the time I'm still hanging down on my backside um, and they haven't so I'm 10 out of 10 on that front as well they just feel I feel smart I feel tidy which is something I really appreciate because most of the time I'm not very tidy um, so the only thing I would change on them is that I quite like a suede bottom um, because if you're riding a lot of horses every day then sometimes I feel like you need that bit of extra protection around that area um, and these just have the grip material 
but obviously their grip breaches and that was what it was going to be um grip wise i mean they're not the grippiest i've ever had i'd probably say my procure ones are a lot grippier um but i'm not to really buy them really for the grip on them um but i quite like the pattern so yeah i'm quite converted to the old cavalli breeches i'm going to do a review on the other ones i've got which is the celine grip breeches which is slightly more expensive um would i pay this much for them again I mean, obviously, I got them at a bargain price, so if I saw them reduced again, I'd snap them up in a heartbeat. Would I pay the full price for them? Probably. I think having loved, like now ridden in them and loved them so much, I think I feel like I've got a bug on the end of my nose. I feel like I would buy them. Um, but I would very much keep a lookout for sales, I think, just to help out on the price front, because they otherwise they're very expensive. Um, and the Celine ones are even more. So, yeah, that is my review on the Cavallo Kaja Brick Breaches.